ignition sequence start. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Three billion people watched as Apollo 11, the first manned mission to the moon, blasted into space in 1968. In his new documentary, In the Shadow of the Moon, director David Sington recaptures that moment. He also revisits the rest of the manned Apollo missions. We're the creatures on this planet that are self-conscious, that understand our own situation. But I don't think that understanding was complete until you know, these few handful, these 24 guys, left the Earth and were able to see it in its entirety for the first time. All your systems are looking good going around the corner. We'll see you on the other side, over. Decades later, 10 of these astronauts describe how it felt to venture to the moon. I felt that I was literally standing on God's front porch. I remember thinking, uh, my God, that little thing is so fragile out there. That jewel of Earth would just hung up in the blackness of space. Sington says most of the high-definition footage in his documentary has never been seen before. NASA kept the majority of it in cold storage to preserve it, uh, li literally under liquid nitrogen, which made it very, very difficult for filmmakers to access. But one of the reasons for making the film is we knew from talking to the people at NASA that they were in the process of taking this footage out from under cold storage and transferring it to this new high-definition video format. And so that footage would be available to us and easy to use. And so we were really just the first people to be able to exploit it. The astronauts' intimate accounts add depth to the film and enhance the stunning visuals. They describe their early days of training, their excitement, their sense of awe and uncertainty. And then there was a the flight home, a hero's homecoming. Wherever we went, uh, people instead of saying, well, you Americans did it, everywhere they said we did it, we humankind, we the human race, we people did it from Europeans, uh, Asians, Africans, wherever we went, it was we finally did it. And I thought that was a wonderful thing. Ephemeral, but wonderful. The documentary in the shadow of the moon recaptures that feeling and renews that pride. Penelope Pulu, VOA News.